you're gonna watch a recall video. This is the finished product, but I'm gonna show you the process with a re recall from Prince right now. Prince, come! Good boy, Princey, good boy. That was such a good boy. That's the finished product of recall. I'm gonna show you the ugly process to train a recall though, with the go-get method. You're gonna see it with a random dog. At the beginning of the video, the dog is running away from me, like you guys comment that your dogs do. Runs away like it's a big game. I found a dog that's gonna run away from me like it's a big game, then I'm gonna show you the process. You want that, you want the, the sexy stuff, where you see the video of the dog with all these channels just coming from super far away, you don't get, I wanna show you the process for that, okay? I don't just wanna show you the finished product. This is the ugly process on how you get there. That's the video. Recall, go get method. I'm gonna show you what to do when you call your dog, when you say come to your dog, and they don't come to you. You, Many of you know I employ, and I tell you to do the go-get method. What is the go-get method? The method is you've trained the dog to come to you. You've trained them in your house, in your backyard, in an undistracted environment. You say come, they, you present your hand, gives them a place to go, they come to you, you give them a treat. It is trained. That does not mean if they're young or if they're distracted that they're gonna to come to you in the real world. But you know, if you're in the real world and you've trained them to come and they don't come, they're blowing you off. They're saying, no, I know what to do, but I'm not gonna do it. That is when you start the go-get method, when they are not doing it, even though they heard you and even though they have been trained the behavior. So we all, I now have the whole property open because a lot of you guys say, well, I can't go get my dog. Uh, my ba backyard's too big. This is an acre. Pool's open, pasture's open, Nala's running around on there. I'm gonna get Nala and I'm gonna do it on camera for you if Nala does not come to me, which means you can do it. If you're an able-bodied person, you can go get your dog. If you're not able-bodied, yeah, it's hard. If you have a giant canyon like Southern California does, yeah, it's kind of hard. I would go up in the canyon, if I lived on a canyon, and I would get my dog because I know how important it is when I say come and the dog says, no, I don't feel like it, I know how important it is to get that dog if you want a reliable, and a perfect recall. Treats, e-collars, they are not the answer to a great recall. Well, they, that e-collars can work. I don't use them, so I do this method. You don't wanna use them, do this method. A lot of you comment on, oh, it's, my property's too big, I can't get them. And a lot of you say, my dog runs away from me like it's a game. You know how many times dogs run away from me like it's a game when I start the go get, the pursuit of the go get method? They do it one time and then they never do it again. I'm not saying they come to me perfectly the second time I ask the dog to come, but I'll tell you what they don't do. They don't keep running away from me because I'm heading out after you, I'm getting you, and when I grab you, when I corner you, and then I get you, you're gonna feel the energy in my arm, and then that gets rid of, it's a game running away from mom. You first have to get rid of that. Then you can get them coming to you. Ready, Nala's way down there with Prince, okay? Nala, come! Nala, come! Oh, what a good girl! What a good girl! So, if your dog does this, then we, okay, we are going to get her. And we're gonna talk through this whole deal and talk about this process, because some of you have questions about this process. So, I am not mad. I am not chasing the dog. I am slowly pursuing the dog. Now, if too much time has elapsed between me asking and by the time I get her, I'm gonna get, give her another shot to do this behavior because she's not gonna understand the go-get if, if too much time has elapsed. She's a dog. They just don't get it. Hi, Nala. Good girl. If I had treats, I maybe would give her a treat. She never really chose to come to me, but she didn't really avoid me either. Okay, Nala. Okay, we're gonna do it again. So I'm gonna create distance and then I'm gonna call her. If she doesn't come, I'm gonna go get her. Somewhat distracted environment, right? Look at her. 
and I'm not gonna give like the greatest cue ever. Dogs just come to me when I give them that certain cue. I put my hand down, I give the cue right, I give it when they're looking at me, and they just do a good recall. But doing a perfect recall is not good for this video. But dogs just do really pretty good recalls. I want her to, who, to not do the behavior. So you guys can see what you do when the dog doesn't do the behavior. So I'm gonna give like a boring cue. Oh my gosh, Nala, go play with your friend. Nala, come. Ah, she did not come to me. Oh, it's a big game. It's a big game. Sit. 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 Stay. Okay. So, there was a tinge of, now look at the lip licks. Okay, now let's see if this changes her. I pursued, and now I'm glad that happened because that's what you guys do. It only felt right in a 5,000 square foot area to redirect her brain and tell her sit. I still wasn't like, oh, thanks for sitting, because I just saw a minute of avoiding and weird little growls and everything's a big game. So this is not fun time. I don't care that she sat. She knows that this punishment, which it really isn't, is for everything being a big ass game to her, okay? Okay, now let's see if the next recall, I'm not saying she'll come to me perfectly, but you gotta get rid of the game part. So let's see if it's a, if it's a big game. Nala, come. Nala, come. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Okay. Nala, come. Come. Good. Good girl. Good girl. There was a little bit of learned helplessness in this last one. Was it great? No, it wasn't great. But was it a game anymore? No, it wasn't a game anymore. Did you see her ears pin? And then her just kind of go, this crazy guy's gonna come get me. When I was, I was pursuing her here, there was for the first time, I didn't ask her to sit, I don't think, the first time there was a little shift and come towards me. I at least eliminated the, it's a game part of things. I at least eliminated that. Now next step is just, which we're close to, after four recalls, three recalls, we are close to her going, okay, I'll just come to you. Oh, but Joel, why don't you just use treats? Yeah, well, you're not watching this channel because treats work 100% of the time. There's other channels for that and they're not gonna do it at a dog park and they're not gonna show you the process and they're not gonna show it with distractions. This is an acre with prints. It's a fairly distracted area. Okay, let's see if she comes. Nala, come! Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Was it a happy, I'm gonna come to you? That was so good, Nala. That was so good. Was it a, oh my God, I'm so excited to come to you. No, it wasn't. I don't care and you don't care. Would I rather have a 100% recall where, where they're good girl, where they're, so de, where they're so happy to get to me? Yes, but you're, not, you're probably not gonna get it because treats or pets are never going to compete with the dog park or compete with that squirrel or compete with the smells in a forest or it's gonna take a long time. You guys need 100% recall soon. And for the dog, when Prince comes to me, sometimes he's just, print, he's just going, okay, I know, I know the guy's gonna come get me. Who cares? There's certain behaviors that learned helplessness is fine with. Recall is the main one. So 
So don't believe me, want your dog to come to you all excited and think it's the greatest thing in the world? Great. Go to other videos and go to other trainers and always have long leashes and always have treats or do this method, eliminate both of those things and your dog is just a little like, okay, I'll go to that guy. Good girl. Who cares? Let your dog be happy and do everything with excitement 99% of the time. Then the 1% of its life, when you say come and it goes, okay, I'll just go to that guy, let them be not the happiest they've ever been. Who cares? It's one behavior and you ask it a few times a day and we expect it to happen and this is how it's going to happen. That is your, your questions answered on the go-get method. You saw it in action. I'm doing it just like you should be doing it. I did it on an acre. Your, your house, your yard is probably not this big with this many nooks and crannies. All right, go get method. How to get your dog coming to you when they blow you off. That's it.